In this video, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this 27 gallon uh, wastewater tank, portable tank. Uh, I've been carrying it around in the back of my truck uh, when we go camping and uh, when we have no hookups for wastewater. And so I just leave it in my truck all the time and it takes up room. So I wanted to come up with another solution to store it and keep it with the trailer at all times and free up room in the back of our truck. Um, so I was looking underneath our trailer and I saw an, an area where I could put it. We have no uh, under valley under it with insulation. So it allows me room underneath there to store it under the trailer. So I'm gonna uh, show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go underneath the trailer and we'll take a look. So here's where I'm gonna install it, right underneath here. This is towards the front of the trailer. It'll be right in front of the fresh water tank. And we have a 2017 Rockwood Mini Light 2504S. Let's go underneath and take a look. Here's a space under here. You can see here's the fresh water tank. And I have all this open space here. So I'm going to put uh, some boards across here. And in a minute I'll show you on the tank uh, what I've built um, and why I did it. So this is the area that I want to put it and I'll take you and show you the uh, tank again with the uh, spaces I built. So here we are. Here's the spacers I built uh, out of uh, two by twos, which are actually one and a half by one and a half. I got here. What will happen is the uh, tank is going to sit up against the bottom of the trailer and so I had to clear all this so I'll show you here I have a level cloth across here so I show uh, my clearance so that'll be like that and then what I did is I took these and I cut a slight angle right here and angled these slightly and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rubber and then adhere it onto the bottom of this with this Gorilla Extra Strength Clear Glue, which I've uh, used before, but I've usually used the white. So this is a clear one. And then I'll install this rubber, which I've had and I've used on a lot of other projects. I actually found this roll. Uh, at a campground somebody had forgot it so uh, it was left there for a while so I just grabbed it so it's actually uh, pretty nice so I'm going to take and cut a strip and glue it on the bottom here but before I do that I'm going to take this stuff here and it's a uh, <clears throat> Red guard. I actually used it to seal in our shower before I retiled. I'm going to put a few coats of this on there. It's a waterproofing uh, prevention membrane. So I'm just going to brush it on a few coats. I have some left over from a project, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to paint it uh, with a gloss black enamel, a Rust Oleum paint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll paint several coats on there. So when I, I did this, I cut it and I glued it with a, a Ultimate Wood Glue for interior exterior. I shot a couple uh, nails in here to hold it and then I drilled the hole and ran a screw through into here and then uh, puttied over the hole. So the screw actually goes way in. It's nice and strong. I sanded it with my sander here, got everything sanded up, and I took my router and I routed all the edges so they're all smooth. So they won't be cutting in anything, the fabric underneath the trailer or the tank. It'll be all nice and smooth edges. And so once I have the 
rubber adhered on here and everything's painted up and everything. Um, I'm just going to run, put my glue along here, like I said, the adhesive, run some screws into the floor. The floor is like, I think it's like a half inch thick or something. So I'm just going to have screws protrude a little bit just to hold this in place until I um, get this thing uh, adhered up there. You know, just hold in place and the adhesive will actually be what's holding it in place. The screws will go into the rubber slightly, so I won't have any screws hitting on this plastic to wear it out later. Um, I, the reason I angled this slightly is so when I lift this tank up in place, it has an area to slide in, and I left a half inch gap on each side. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So my, I don't want to give you ideas of what I'm going to do yet because I don't want to confuse you. But uh, we'll see uh, when I come up with my next thing, how I'm going to strap this up in place, uh, what I'm going to do. And I got lucky with this tank. Um, we were at a campground and somebody was getting rid of it uh, by a dumpster uh, at a RV park. Well, it was a, a county campground. And so I just, it looked pretty new, so I took it home, cleaned it all up, and it works pretty good. Um, so I got this thing for free, so I'm kind of happy about doing this uh, new uh, storage area for it. I'm glad that I don't have the membrane underneath where I have to worry about it uh, taking any out or anything to do this. So that's it. I'm going to... Uh, get to painting this with the red guard and then uh, I'll come back to you. Here's what the red guard looks like when you put it on. It actually goes on pink and then when it dries it's more red. So I'll do a couple coats of this. This will help it uh, since it's wood it won't really be in the weather, but it might get some rain splashed up on it, moisture. So I don't want it to rot. And uh, so this stuff should help prevent that by sealing the wood off and making it um, more waterproof. And the addition of paint on top of it will help also. Here they are now that one coat has dried as you can see they turn red it's almost like it puts on a slight plastic coating uh, to protect it so I'm gonna put one more coat on let it dry and then paint them black I've got all these uh, spacers here painted up black that uh, red guard it brushed on and I don't know if you can see here the brush strokes are pretty rough and I spray painted the uh, black paint on so <clears throat> it'll give it a textured look underneath the trailer so this one here I have the uh, rubber is all glued on to the side that will face the tank and then this one is ready to go I've got the adhesive on here. I know I've been calling it glue every once in a while, but it's uh, Gorilla Adhesive. So I've got it on here. And then I got my rubber strips here cut, ready to go in place. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. I got both of them done. Now I just got to let this dry for a bit. This uh, adhesive works really good. It's not coming off. And the reason for the rubber again is to help cushion um, against the, the tank when it's uh, up in place underneath the trailer. So it won't wear it out. And it also flexes and it'll kind of dig into the, uh, the tank itself, the rubber. It'll flex with it and it'll kind of hold it in place when it's all strapped up.
Right now I just have it propped up with these two sticks underneath the trailer so I can get my measurements. As you can see, it hangs down a little bit, but it's not as low as the uh, jacks, stabilizing jacks on the side. So I'm good. Um, so I got a place and uh, I'm going to make uh, some uh, brackets that will hinge little hints from up here and down around it. So I'm going to get making those and I'll show you what they look like. I made the brackets. Um, it took quite a bit of time getting the measurements exactly right because I wanted it to be able to fit nice and tight against the tank. Um, so I used a um, quarter inch thick by inch and a half strap metal and heated it up and bent it. And then on uh, one end, which will be the front of the trailer, I have a hinge here. It's a four inch hinge that's bolted on. I put my rubber on here just like I did on the other uh, wooden pieces. So it'll sit nice and tight. And then on this end, or a special latch. I'll show you right here what it looks like. It looks like this. One end gets mounted uh, on the frame and then I'm going to mount this on the bracket this end. And there it is open. So when it, it folds back it lengthens it. When you push it down it tightens it up so it'll make the uh, tank snug up against the bottom of the trailer. So here's what it looks like in place. It has a uh, hole here that goes across to lock this in place because I don't want it to open up while I'm driving, which it, it shouldn't, but I just want to be cautious. And uh, then for safety precaution, I'm going to take and I'll run a chain from right here up to the frame. So if this all lets go, the tank doesn't fall down. So uh, I'm going to go underneath the trailer and put this under there and show you what it looks like from there. I got it all installed. Um, you can see here, um, it turned out pretty nice, a lot nicer than I thought. Remember my spacers that I put up here to keep the tank uh, clear? So the handle and everything doesn't hit. Um, and then what I got here, I put a piece of rubber there so that uh, the handle would hit on that. So it won't be rubbing on, on the uh, floor fabric there. So over here on this end, I have the hinge and then my latch over here. And then here I put a bar across so they lift up and down together. So when these are un unlatched, it drops down to the ground and then I slide this tank in place, which I'll show you in a few minutes what I do. So let me go in and uh, show you where, what I did with the hinges, how I mounted it and the latches. There's another angle of it here. So I just got the hinges screwed on here and screwed up with nuts in the frame right up in the front here and then I'll show you the latch here right over there and here's the latch end of it um, so what I did was I had this frame here my fresh water tank the angle iron so I just bent up a piece of metal here at a 90 degree angle to mount this little clip and then I just uh, bolted this on to this uh, frame. And then what I did was I, I was going to use that other um, hasp to hold this. And then I, was, I thought, I'm going to put a chain through that hasp. But just in case, just to hold uh, this in place so that if this lets go, 
and drops. I want something to catch it, so I got a chain on here. And with that other hasp, it wouldn't work. So this one's nice and solid. So I got the same on both sides. As you can see. So I just connected the chain to the frame. And this down here, the chain link. And uh, that should work pretty well. So let me show you what this looks like in the down position. So as you can see, it's in the down position and it folds down pretty, pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide this tank in place. And show you what it looks like while I do that. Before I put the tank in place, I want to show you something. You see how I uh, I set these brackets? I, I bent them down. I kind of created like a pocket for the tank to fit in. So I can just put it in place. It'll sit in that pocket. And that way it'll set up nice exactly the same place every time I put it up in place here to go against these uh, top pieces I put. So that's why I did that instead of just having a flat piece of metal go straight across and trying to battle it putting the tank in and sliding back and forth and all over the place. That's why I did that. And there it is in place it worked can't believe it worked but it worked so if you like this video and want to see more like it please hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell icon so you can see future videos uh, that pop up as they do um, and also uh, let me know what you think about this in your comments uh, if you think this is a dumb idea or a good idea, but for me it works. Uh, it it gets a tank out of my way and uh, and out of my truck. I don't have to hang it on my ladder, or haul it around. I just got it here all the time. We don't use it a whole lot, but it'll come in handy knowing it's always here. And uh, you know, I know it involves crawling under here and uh, pulling it down but it doesn't take much time I can throw a tarp down if I'm in dirt or something I don't mind crawling under here and only takes a few minutes to put up and take down so thanks for watching everybody and happy camping take care <laughs>